Goodbye, a first conversation about grief. Life is beginning all the time. Seeds sprout, eggs hatch, and babies are born. They are all alive, just like you. Life is changing all the time. Flowers bloom, chicks get feathers, and babies grow up. Death is one of those changes too. What do you know about death or dying? What questions do you have? Everything that lives eventually dies. We don't know for sure when it will happen, but we do know that many living things die when they get old, or if they get very ill. Sometimes, life ends in a way that we don't expect, and that can be scary. Things can feel a little less scary if we talk about them. What questions do you have so far? What happens when we die? There are some things we know for sure, and some things we don't. We know that when humans or other animals die, They don't think thoughts or feel feelings anymore. Their bodies stop working and doing things like growing, seeing, eating, and smelling. We also know that when someone dies, the body doesn't come back to life. They're gone, and we will not see them alive again. But we can't know for sure what happens to our spirit or soul or energy after death. There are many different beliefs and ideas, even different ideas in the same family. I think people go to heaven me too. I believe we are reborn in a new body. I think people just die. I believe our spirit visits loved ones. I don't know. What do you think happens? What is grief? Our love for someone who dies, mixed with sadness we feel, is called grief. Do you love someone who is gone now? Would you tell me about them? Almost everybody in the world feels grief at some point in their lives. Even though it's a normal part of life, it can still be really hard to feel or to talk about. What does grief feel like? Well, it feels different for everybody. Sometimes there are things you miss, like a hug or that person's voice. There are times when memories of that person feel happy, and other times when they make us feel sad, or angry, or confused. Sometimes, your brain wants you to think that the death was your fault, but it's not. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just very hard to feel so sad. When we feel this sad, we need lots of help from those who love us so we can start to feel better. What does grief look like? You can't tell if someone's grieving just by looking at them. Sometimes it shows and sometimes it doesn't. Often, a grieving person will cry or make a very sad face. Sometimes they'll think of a funny memory and smile or laugh. Other times, A grieving person may just look very still, as if they're not feeling anything at all. Grief doesn't look just one way, and it doesn't stay the same. How long does grief last? There is no right or wrong amount of time to feel grief. Everyone feels grief for different amounts of time. Grief doesn't have to be fixed or stopped. We can feel grief and sadness for as long as we need to. Someone feeling grief may want to stop what they are doing for a while. They may need a break. Others might like being busy again right away. How can we help each other feel better? Sometimes saying goodbye to the person who has died can help us start to feel better. There are so many different ways that families and communities say goodbye. How do the people in your family say goodbye? You can also find your own ways to grieve, like eating foods that remind you of the person who died, looking at pictures, or listening to music you love together. These memories will make you feel sadder and then better. Sometimes it helps to talk about grief with people you love or with a therapist who is an expert on feelings. You mattered to the person who died, and you still matter. There are others who love you and treasure you all around. We all feel grief, so we can learn together about what helps us feel better. What do you feel like doing now?